Today we are going to build a period emergency kit for those backcountry snowmobiling days for when the expected shows up unexpectedly, aka your period. Hey, what's up? Angelisa here. I am a backcountry snowmobile enthusiast and today I am going to be building out a emergency period kit for those backcountry snowmobile days and I thought while I'm preparing, while I'm getting ready for that first day, I thought why not bring you with me and we can build this out together. If you're anything like me, your days are limited. So when the flow happens and our days align to get out into the backcountry, you just go for it. Even though you might not be feeling the best, those days are sacred and we get out there. It doesn't matter how we're feeling. So it's better to be prepared than under prepared. And I would love to give a big shout out to NYX Period Underwear for sponsoring this video, but we're gonna talk more about NYX Period Underwear and why I wear them and I swear by them, okay? So here we go. We're gonna be building my kit and I am going to talk about each item and what I am packing. So first off, we have the NYX period dream short. So these are the dream shorts. They have the built-in period underwear. So I'm showing two of them here and there's a reason why I'm showing two. These are, in all honesty, the most comfortable underwear that you will ever put on. They fit like a dream and when you are on your period, when you're menstruating, it just, it's so comfortable. It's almost like you're not wearing anything. I ride with them, I wear them all the time when I'm sleeping, even when I'm not on my period, when I'm not menstruating. All right, so I have two of them on the table here and the reason for it is because I want to show you what I'm packing and also what I will be wearing that day. When I'm getting ready, I know I'm going into the back country, I am actually going to wear my period dream shorts, my NYX period dream shorts. I'm gonna wear that, and then in my kit, I am gonna pack the other one. So again, if I know I'm gonna have my period or if I am on my period, I am prepared. The reason why I'm packing an extra pair of underwear, if I need to spend the night in the back country, then I am prepared, I'm gonna have clean, dry period underwear for the night because there's nothing worse than feeling wet down there. And when I know when I'm feeling wet or when I'm feeling like there's a lot of moisture in those areas that I will get cold. I instantly break down. My body will start to break down. So it's always important to have dry underwear on you at all times. Okay. so. I'm gonna wear a pair and I'm gonna pack a pair. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my period reusable pads. So these, I have three of them I'm showing here. So these are reusable pads. They do have a clasp that you can wrap around on the bottom of your underwear and you just snap them in like that. All right, so I'm going to be packing two of them into my kit. And if I am on my period, I am going to wear one with my dream short, the day of riding. And that is because if I am riding, even though these can hold up to two tampons full of liquid, it does tend to get a little bit uncomfortable. You just notice it down there when it does become quite full. So what I will do is I will remove the pad and then I'm just wearing the other period shorts underneath. So I don't need to add another one. So that way I'm prepared. I'm double prepared. So I just take this off rather than stripping down butt naked to put on another pair of underwear. And then when I have my used pad, I throw it into my mesh NYX bag and voila, there we go. Then the mess is tucked away and I don't need to worry about it. Again, if I am 
spending the night in the backcountry unexpectedly. I have backups just in case, or if the flow is extremely heavy and I go through both the pad and my shorts, which have never happened, but just in case, then I got the backup. I can throw this on with a pad as well. And same thing, then I can throw in my dirty underwear and throw it into the mesh bag. And since this is a very honest video, I do not ride dirt bikes or snowmobiles or any other outdoor activity. I wear these shorts all the time and not only is it great for when I am on my period, when I am menstruating, but also they collect sweat or any other leaks that come out. <laughs> I go more in depth over on a podcast that you can check out right here. I do talk about it in the other video, why I wear Nick's period underwear while I do my sports. But let's just say that wearing Nick's underwear really does ensure comfortability and also makes me feel safe because I am wearing leak proof underwear. And also it gives me the confidence so that I can keep going knowing that I'm just not gonna have any leakage, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so next is the NYX mesh bag. Now, I just showed this to you guys. So this bag is great for when you need to tuck away those dirty, messy, reusable pads or your underwear. So it's super handy to have. I know a lot of people always question like, what do I do with my underwear reusable pads after? What do I do with them after? So you just throw them into the bag, into your mesh bag and you zip it up and you tuck it away. And the beauty about this bag is you just throw it right into the washing machine. You don't need to worry about taking it out, touching it ever again. This just keeps everything together and it washes and oh my gosh, it is so amazing. So you don't need to clean anything up, just throw the used pads or the used underwear in here. And as soon as you get home from snowmobiling, getting in from the trails or the backcountry, just take it out of your bag throw it in the wash and then hang them to dry. Or if you're like me, I just throw them in the dryer. We're gonna get into some obvious things to bring to pack into your emergency kit for those uncomfortable cramps that come along with periods. If you are riding on the day that you get your period where you're experiencing some pain and discomfort, however, you do not want to miss out on a day, on an epic day of riding, because again, your days are limited. Well, Motrin ibuprofen is your friend. Um, make sure you pack some of these. I'm not a big pill popper, but for those days when I do want to get out and I want to feel good and I want to reserve my energy and I don't want to experience any pain, I'm going to take one of those because I want to enjoy my day out in the backcountry. Again, days are limited, so we gotta do whatever we can to make sure that we are comfortable while riding. So next up, I have a heated hoodie. Now there's heated hoodies, there's heated vests out there that you can throw on. I was gifted from Kim Pex a heated hoodie, and oh my gosh, this hoodie has been amazing. So I, it comes with a battery pack that I charge, and I make sure this is charged the night before I go riding. So one thing I will do is I'll grab that and I will plug in my hoodie. And I usually throw this on it while I'm sledding, like mid ride, if I am experiencing any cramps. And the beauty about it is it has heat in the lower back and also the upper back. It just keeps me so warm and eases those cramps that I'm experiencing. If you have the budget, I recommend on getting a heated hoodie or a heated vest, not only for your periods while you're menstruating, but also for those very cold days that you will experience in the back country. It's just like having a heat pack on your back when you're at home, you know, when you are experiencing some discomfort or pain. Next up, I have electrolytes, vitamin C. This is gonna help um, just to activate 
those muscles, your organs to work properly when you are feeling low on energy. It's just great to pop one of these into your water and then you can stay hydrated, which is another thing. You wanna drink lots of water while you are on your period. Since I was talking about energy, when you are feeling low energy, especially in the backcountry, when you are in, let's say, a technical area that took a lot of energy to get to the zone, and then you're playing around, knowing that you have to get back to your truck, you need to conserve your energy. So keep in mind, as excited as you are, maybe you're feeling a little bit better at this moment, Maybe the cramps have subsided and you're giving her, you're having so much fun, there's so much powder or you're building a jump, whatever. Just make sure that you are conserving energy because you need to get back to your truck. You need the energy to go through the technical lines that you got up to that area. And also loading your snowmobile onto your truck is nerve wracking in itself. So just keep in mind that you need to save that energy for the end of the day. Next on my list is, <laughs> no brainer, <laughs> dark chocolate. I have the dark chocolate with caramel and sea salt. Oh my gosh, these are delicious. I have chocolate every single day. They say not to have sugar or caffeine while you're on your period, but come on, like really? We're all craving it. So might as well pack it. Your future self will thank you for those emergency times when you need a little pick me up. All right, and with all of these items that I have shown you, I will then use a leak proof bag that I'm gonna put into my tunnel bag. Okay, so all of this will fit in there. The only thing that's not going to fit is my heated hoodie. So with my heated hoodie, I will just put that right into my bag and voila. My period emergency kit will go right in here and slip that right into my tunnel bag. And that's it for my emergency period kit. And you're probably wondering, hey Ange, you forgot your tampons. <laughs> These, my friends, are not what you think they're used for. I actually need to restock my medical kit, which I have right here. It's a survival kit. I need to restock it because these are great for to stop bleeds such as a nosebleed and also too if i need to start a fire let's say i am spending the night in the backcountry and i have some gas in my tank i can dip the tampon into the gas and then put that into my fire and it will start my fire so that is what I use tampons for. I do not use them for my period, actually. So we're gonna put that into my survival medical kit so that is ready to go for the season. Last but not least, if you are feeling low on energy, ask for help. Again, if you're in a zone or an area that was very technical riding to get to, and knowing that it's gonna be technical to get out of, and you're just not feeling yourself, maybe you're out of your element, maybe you're out of your comfort zone, ask for help. There is no shame in the period game or no shame whatsoever, even if you're not on your period, just ask for help. And let me know what you pack for those days when you are on your period. Do you have a period emergency kit? And is there anything that you might add that maybe I didn't? add to mine. I'm curious, so please let me know in the comments. I'm all about being comfortable and vibing high. And with these little tweaks that I prepare and that I wear, help me in so many ways. And if you want to learn more on what I wear to keep the stoke high, to keep my vibes high, then you can check out this video <laughs> somewhere around here. So if you wanna learn more about vibing high, you can check out that video. Until next time, keep killing it safely out there and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next episode. Bye.